me, Sandy. I heard that we were going to be talking about running a race this morning. That is correct. So I found some pictures of a time I ran a race in downtown Miami. Oh, wonderful. Let me see. Yes, I only have two. This is one at the beginning of the race. As you can tell, I'm smiling, yes, ready to go, yes. enthusiastic. And then this one is at the end of the race. Oh, not smiling quite so big. Very different. Very tired. I right? can imagine. It was a long race. Wow. But I did it. Good. I Proud did, of you. I didn't win, but I finished the race. Good. Yeah. That's, that's very important. Yeah, you know, races are hard. They you sure really are. have to give your all in a race. You can't just kind of say, mm, I think I'm going to take a break right now. <laughs> no. Have some water. Can't stop in the middle of the race. No. no. There's a beginning on. and an end. That's right. Yes, sir. Boys and girls. Think about a time that you participated in a race. What type of race was it? Was it here on our playground on the track? Or was it at school? Did you participate in a track meet event? Was it difficult for you? And did you finish the race even though you didn't win? Today we'll be talking about running a race, but it is a different kind of race. Better. So, yeah. More important. Very. <laughs> so check it out here at Granada, Granada Kids. Kids. Welcome back to the Animal Center, everyone. I am so glad you're here. Over the last few weeks, I have shared a little bit about my job and what we do here to care for the animals. Our work is not a type of work that can be done quickly. It is a process that requires determination, focus, and perseverance. Kind of like a marathon. A marathon is a long distance race that takes hours to complete. Runners must persevere through more than 26 miles of running. They have the determination to work hard with their focus at the end goal of finishing the race. In today's Bible story, Paul compared following Jesus to running a race. Following Jesus will require perseverance and focus, just like the athlete running the marathon. But the prize believers run towards is much more valuable than the medal or a trophy. The prize at the end of a believer's race will be sharing in Jesus' victory through all eternity and, best of all, enjoying Jesus himself. Good morning, Granada kids. Sorry about that. I only slept about six hours last night. That is not enough. Have you ever noticed how sometimes time seems to go so quickly and other times it goes so slowly? Time is an amazing thing. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I have a timeline here. Let's come up with some ideas of things that last for each period of time on it. Hmm. What lasts for about five minutes? It might take five minutes for me to cook a microwave dinner or five minutes to brew a coffee in the morning. What can you think of? How about 30 minutes? Well, I can take a 30 minute shower and I also love a brisk 30 minute walk. It's great for your health. Let us know some other ideas. Hmm, what lasts for one day or all day. Perhaps praying? As the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing, which means we should be praying all day to God. What are some other ideas? What lasts one year? Well, your age lasts a year, right? And your grade does too. Maybe your clothes do if you outgrow them, I mean. Do you have any other ideas? What lasts 10 years? That's a long time. You know, some pets live for 10 years. Hmm, some other ideas? Now think of what lasts for 100 years. You know, some people live that long. Hard to believe, right? But they do. Some buildings definitely do as well. Go ahead and make a list. And finally, what lasts 
forever. That is a long, 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 long time. Can you think of anything? <laughs> well, when we follow Jesus, we receive something that lasts forever. Listen carefully to the Bible story to find out what it is. Good morning, Granada kids. It's Miss Sarah. It's the end of June. So do you remember what sanctification is? That crazy big word? Remember the three words we learned? More like Jesus. Let's say the big picture question and answer together. What is sanctification? Sanctification is the process of becoming more like Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. As we press on to know Jesus more fully, running the race of faith, the Holy Spirit will continue to change us. You will grow in age and in height and in knowledge through the years, but becoming more like Jesus is the most important way to grow. Let's listen to what the Apostle Paul has to say to us in God's word. Paul wrote a letter to the church at Philippi. He reminded them that true joy comes only from knowing Jesus. This is what Paul said. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. As you live, watch out for people who do evil things. Watch out for people who try to act religious. We are true believers if we worship by the Spirit, not trusting in ourselves or our abilities. Paul said that if anyone could be confident in his own abilities, it was him. Paul had been born a Jew. He followed the law and had persecuted the church because he thought it was the right thing to do. But now that Paul knew Jesus, the things that were once important to him did not matter at all. Nothing is more important than knowing Jesus. Paul said, I lost everything so I can know Christ and he is worth it. Now that I belong to Jesus, I am made right with God, not because of what I do, but because of what Jesus has done for me. I trust in him by faith. Paul wrote, my goal is to know Jesus and the power of his resurrection. Paul explained that though he knew Jesus, he did not yet know him completely. God brings us into his family and wants us to know Jesus. Paul said, Brothers and sisters, this is what I do. I forget what is in the past and look ahead to the future. I run after the goal of knowing Jesus. This is a heavenly prize. Paul encouraged the Philippians to follow his example. He warned them, not everyone lives for Jesus. Those who focus on earthly things and live as enemies of the cross will be destroyed. But our home is in heaven. We are waiting for Jesus, our Lord, to come from heaven. He will transform us and give us glorious bodies by his great power. Following Jesus is like running a race for a wonderful prize. We remember that Jesus never sinned, but he endured the cross so we can have forgiveness of our sins. We press on to fully know Jesus and share in his victory for eternity. What would you do if you were in prison? How would you spend your time? What would you think about? How would you feel? The little book of Philippians that we're learning about today is a letter that Paul wrote when he was in a Roman jail. And do you know what the theme of this book is? Joy. What? Yes, joy. Paul was not sitting around feeling sorry for himself or complaining in his hard times because he had his eyes on the prize. Paul knew he had a mission to accomplish while he was on earth, and that was to share the love and the truth of Jesus. And he was looking forward to the prize of eternal life with Jesus. So Paul says things like fight the good fight of faith and Run the race setting your eyes on Jesus because it requires perseverance to keep following Jesus even when it's hard. So don't give up. 
keep running the race of faith. Hang in there. Cheer one another on. Keep following Jesus because it is worth it. Hi Granada kids, Miss Kathy here and it's great to be here with you. I hope that you're having a blessed summer and I hope to see you again in Granada Kids. This is the last time that we will be saying the key passage for the month of June. So let's say it together with the hand motions that we have been learning. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of eternal life to which you have been called and about which you have made a good confession in the presence of many witnesses. 1 Timothy 6, 12. This verse tells us that fighting the fight of faith, we will receive the prize of eternal life with Jesus knowing that everything that God says is true helps us to press on with confidence, even when things are hard. Keep following Jesus and we will see that eternal life with him will be a greater prize than anything we will ever win here on this earth. Let's rejoice in that truth together. Hi, I'm Allie. Please bow your head and pray with me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to rescue us from our sins so we can live with you forever. Thank you for giving us strength to press on and following you even in hard times. Help us press on to know Jesus more fully. We look forward to spending eternity with you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's end this morning and this month with a relay race. I'll put our key passage on the screen to help you. We've been saying it all month, so I hope you know it by now. <laughs> Get into two teams, and there will be two sets of cards with a word of the verse on each card. Each team should get in a line. When your teacher says, go, the first child on each team will race to his team's stack of cards, pick one card, and bring it back to his team. He will tag the next player to go and get another card. Continue until you collect all of the cards. The first team to arrange the cards in the correct order wins. Have fun running this race. <laughs>
I hope you will always think of this Bible verse when following Jesus feels difficult. It will encourage you to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Let's go. Wow! Hey boys and girls, we hope you had a fantastic Sunday today. Following Jesus is like running a race for a wonderful prize. Jesus gave up His power and glory in heaven to come to earth and die on the cross in our place. It's only through Jesus' death and resurrection that we can be forgiven. We must press on to fully know Jesus and to share eternal life with Him. Keep pressing on boys and girls, finish the race. Bye everybody!